Hi guys, what is up? It's Olivia and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a haul video. I have not done a haul video in quite some time and I'm super excited to be doing one because it's a collective haul. I've been doing some shopping over the past couple of months and a lot of the clothes are spring related. Spring is my favorite season. I am so excited for spring clothes. I'm just excited for spring in general and yeah, so I'm gonna show you my clothes now. The first place I have clothes from is actually Buffalo Exchange. Now, I did not know that there was a Buffalo Exchange in Pittsburgh, so when I found out there was one, I had to go because I know a lot of people who have been to one have always said that they found some really cool things there, they got some really good deals there, and I could not be more content with my experience shopping there. So the first thing I got from there is this black denim jacket. Now I already have two denim jackets, I have a light wash and a dark wash, but believe it or not I don't have a black one. So when I saw this there, I had to get it, not only because was it lightweight and black, but because it is distressed. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll see it in the try on clip. Um, the one pocket is missing there's a button there and a flap there but there's no pocket and then all along the bottom of the jacket is just like distressed hem it's distressed perfectly there's not too much going on but it's like just the right amount you know what I mean and it's super lightweight like I mentioned so it's great to layer for the springtime I also grabbed this super dope t-shirt while I was there it just says never not chilling on the front in this super cool like vintage tattoo font and it's just all black and then on the back it says the same thing in the same font but it has this pair of like white saddle shoes just chilling there the brand is MNKR brand Los Angeles and I looked him up and he's actually like a small designer in Los Angeles so he makes cool graphics like this so if this appeals to you his style is very similar on his other clothes so I definitely recommend checking him out. I picked up this bodysuit which is almost identical to the one I have on actually. This is just really colorful pinstripes. It also has the mock neck and the longer sleeves which I love. The colors just really caught my attention. They're super springy. They're yellow and beige. There's some teal and gray in there as well. Super different from anything else I have in my wardrobe but I thought it would look great with gold jewelry. I love bodysuits so much. I also love stripes very much. So this was just the perfect buy for me. So my favorite purchase from my first trip to Buffalo Exchange are these shoes. They are a pair of Doc Martin Mary Janes. I have been wanting these shoes for a really long time, but I never wanted to invest the money in them because I've heard how much of a pain it is to break them in, and I never really knew how much I would actually wear them, and they were kind of more on the pricier side. And I got these for a really good deal. They are worn in, but they're barely worn. Like, they're the perfect condition. They're a gray color, which is super nice. It's different from the black that I always buy, but it's also very wearable for me. And they're not everybody's taste, but I really, really love them, and I I am so happy, so, so happy that I got my hands on a pair of them. This next shirt I actually got from a concert this past month, but I thought I would show it anyway because of course I'm going to wear it. Um, it is from the band Keeps. It's just this burgundy colored shirt with these mustard gold hands on it, and then it says Keeps on the bottom. Keeps is a really, really cool band. They were the openers for When I Saw Coin, and I love them. They've been on repeat ever since that gig and I just really really like the shirt for some reason it's super simplistic but I don't know I just like the color scheme I like the design on it so I thought I would share that as well and give them a little bit of a promo I got this belt from H&M for one dollar like literally one dollar I've been wanting a belt like this for quite some time now it's literally just a plain black pleather belt with silver hardware on it and then it's like grommeted the whole way down but it's really nice because there's no belt loops in it so I can make it as tight as I want to so it's gonna be great to layer with skirts and stuff I love belts I love grommeted things that's kind of a weird description a weird thing to love it's very specific but I do love grommeted things and this belt is everything and I can't believe I got it for a dollar I'm I'm so excited about it I got this shirt from the Goodwill and I just thought it was super quirky and fun and it was good for spring because it had that pop of orange in it. It's an Andy Warhol t-shirt. The Andy Warhol Museum is here in Pittsburgh and if I'm not mistaken, it literally looks like something you would get from the gift shop there. It looked brand new, like 
literally not even worn. It was $2.99. I wasn't going to pass it up. It's super cute. It's black and white pinstripes, which I love, and it's quirky, which I love. I also got quite a few things from Forever 21. I ordered some stuff online, and then I also went into the store and bought some things. Forever 21 has really stepped up their fashion game recently. Not that it wasn't good before, but it's like even better now. And it looks like they started carrying more things that aren't like specifically. First item though is kind of random. It is this red and black speckled knit beanie. I've been wanting a beanie for a while that actually looks good on me and regular beanies just don't. And when I saw this one, I was like, I'm gonna try it on. It's fun, it's cute. And I ended up really, really liking it. The puffle ball just kind of like sold it for me but it's really cute and I really like it and here I am in a red beanie with a puff bowl on it I like it it's cute I love red so I also grabbed this super cute black and white pinstripe top what a shocker um it's off the shoulder and then the bottom and the sleeves are like curly kind of they look like a little shirt that you would wear when you were like in elementary school you know and I really like it because it's a little bit thicker and then it's a little bit longer as well it's still cropped but it's not super super cropped it seems like off the shoulder pieces have been like kind of trending recently I don't know I've been seeing a lot of people wearing them on Instagram and stuff like that so I was like maybe I'll try it and I like it so I got this one now I bought that black and white striped one in the store but I ordered this plain black one online and they're the same concept but they're two totally different shirts so this one is just plain black and it's ribbed and then it has like raw edges on the arms and on the bottom it's a lot more lightweight and it's a lot more cropped so this will give you a completely different look I do really like both of these and I'm super excited to style them because I think they're gonna be super easy to change up for any situation this next item is a little bit different for me because it is a skirt I usually don't voluntarily buy dresses and skirts like that just because even in the spring and summer you will catch me in like ripped jeans and a t-shirt but when I saw this skirt I just had to do it. it reminded me of something that Unif would sell it is this plain black pleather skirt just a super simple cut but then it has a silver zipper down the front with this little like o-ring on it and that's what reminds me of Unif because a lot of Unif clothes have this like o-ring zipper on it which I really love for some reason it's just it changes it completely we can put it on with this belt and it'll make a super cute outfit with a bodysuit and you're good to go. Don't really know where I'm gonna wear this. Um, I don't have anywhere to really wear a pleather skirt, but I mean, it was cute and I'm sure I'll find somewhere to wear it. Now this bodysuit I'm about to show you is, I love it, okay? I, I was speechless when I saw it. It is from the brand San Joy, but I got it at Forever 21, so like I mentioned, it seems like they're selling some more things that aren't Forever 21 brand. Do you see this bodysuit? It is this like lacy dotted lace the whole way around, and then it has these huge embroidered roses on it, which is just, it is so, like this is me in a piece of clothing. Like if you want to know what I am in a piece of clothing, it is this. I love it. I'm in love with this. It's gonna go great with that skirt. It's gonna go great with jeans. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. I love this so much. <laughs> the last thing I have to share with you guys is another pair of shoes. These are also not Forever 21 brand. They are Wild Diva Lounge. And these shoes were only $25, and when you'll see them, you'll understand why I was baffled by that price. So, they look like this, and basically they are matte black pleather mules with these beautiful, once again, embroidered roses on them. And they have this piece of gold hardware that lays right across the top, and they add the most perfect touch. I'm obsessed with these. I've been wanting a pair of these slip-on mule-ish loafer shoes for a while ever since I saw Maddie Bragg had like this really cool Gucci pair but they were like over a thousand dollars and I was like I cannot afford those I love shoes very much and to finally have my hands on the perfect pair of mules is such a blessing honestly I love them 
I cannot wait to wear them. They're just, they're so cute. So that is all I have to share with you guys today. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not already and you would like to, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. I have to do the try-on portion, which I might die, but that's okay.